welcome back to my channel and another Halloween design. So I have applied my tips to Lottie and I have used stiletto tips but on the index finger, the thumb and the little finger I have just chopped the end off to make them a long ballerina and I've kept the middle and the ring finger as a stiletto. Now I have never done a set where I've done different shapes before but I thought this set called for it um, and I do hope you'll agree. So just finishing off with my clear acrylic and applying that thin clear base and then we are going to get into today's design. So I am starting off with this beautiful purple from Glam and Glitz. This is Have a Great Day. And I am doing just full coverage of this on the middle and also the ring finger. So those two stiletto nails. So just picking up a little bead to get my neat, nice cuticle line. And then I'm just painting the product down the nail. Uh, this doesn't need thickness, it doesn't need bulk, it doesn't need loads of acrylic because these glab and glitz are so pigmented, you can just paint them on nice and wet, nice and thin. And I'm not worrying about the coverage on that middle finger too much because I'm going to be applying a pigment at the end, but um, you know, still like to do it as nice as I can. I'm doing exactly the same on the ring finger but I'm taking a little bit more care to make sure it's not patchy. Although I quite like the patchiness, if I'm honest, it kind of adds to that Halloween-y look. But just finishing off applying to the middle, no this is the ring finger, oh Helen, come on woman, get a grip. Right, finishing that off and I've got these gorgeous flakes. Uh, now I do believe you can get some like this from the nail team and I'm going in with the green and just in the corner ish at the cuticle and just coming down one side slightly don't need loads of these and they stick really well to wet acrylic or slightly tacky acrylic so I'm gonna pat that on and then live it and I'm gonna move on to some glitter so this is another one of the um, limited edition Halloweens from the nail team and this is Delia. Now this is a purple and green mix. It has got purple shard, uh, not purple shards, so purple tinsel in holographic and I think there might be some matte. There's some of those pretty little flowers again it's really nice fun mix so just fading that down the nail I'm going to do the same on the pinky so just applying my bead and neatening it up around the cuticle probably should have used less here because it's the pinky it's a smaller nail and it's quite a chunky glitter but you know we're going with it, we're making it work. So I'm just using my brush to pat it down and using the tippy tip just to maneuver the shapes. There's also some purple flowers in there, I can see. Just maneuvering the shapes into place and patting it down until I'm happy. Now all the acrylic and the glitter is laid down on this design. I've just noticed I can see my spoon in the background. That goes with my coffee. Sorry, I totally went off on one there, uh, but yeah. I'm now gonna cap all of these nails in my clear acrylic. So I'm just gonna cap the pinky all in this video and I'll do the rest off camera. You can really see my spoon in the video now, sorry. <laughs> um, so this is where we're creating all the strength, all the structure to the nail, blah, blah, blah. You know, I say this all the time. So I'm just using my brush to pull the product down the nail, fading it out where we get to the end and then adding in a bit more. And then when I've done this, I'm gonna cap the rest and then I'm going to file them all off camera. So tidy up the shape, refine the surface, you know the drill. And then when they're done, we will be back to finish them off. So 
so here they are all capped all filed all ready to decorate so giving them a clean over because we like to get rid of them little pesky dust bits and now I'm going in with I'm going to be using this gorgeous holographic purple pigment on the middle nail so I'm using my perfect nails no wipe top gel pigments love no wipe top gel so we're going to apply a nice even coat of that cure in the LED lamp for 60 seconds and then you want to apply your pigment as soon as it comes out the lamp while it's still warm so I, I just use my finger for these things you can use sponges tools whatever but pff, got, your, got your fingers why not so just going to rub that in really really rub it in dust away the excess oh, look at that hollow whoa and then I'm going to top coat it in fact I'm going to top coat them all kind of uh, lost that there yeah so I'm going to top coat all of these nails if you were applying a pigment like this on a client I would double top coat um, so do one probably only flash or half cure it so that the second coat has got something to stick to if it's a no wipe or use a tacky one and then a no wipe top coat but double top coat it uh, just to help it last longer but Lottie's not going to care because I changed her design the following day so that goes in the LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds and I have got my crystal nails royal gel in black and on this nail I'm going to be doing a spider web so I'm just creating the lines to the web I'm using the zero short brush also from crystal nails love this brush love this paint beautiful beautiful and what you may have noticed is I used a little bit of cleanser to clean up the pigment off of the finger just wiped around so now I've done my lines I'm gonna do those sort of loopy lines that join up and make the spider web but you know what I mean so instead of me yabbering on I'm just gonna let you watch and then I'm gonna pop that to cure for 60 seconds So now we're going to add Stanley Spider to that holographic nail. I have got some gel, gem glue, and I'm just doing a couple of little splodges with a micro swab and then applying my two green crystals, which I will then cure for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to use that same gel paint to add Stanley's legs. Um, now I, I did cheat a little bit because I took the nail off and put that in the lamp so I could continue working obviously I don't recommend pulling off a client's nail it's going to be hard work and painful and not so easy to put back but if you're working on your practice hand obviously it's not a problem so I'm just finishing off Stanley's legs and then when I'm happy with them I'm gonna pop him in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds and then that will be my Stanley Spider Halloween set complete. And here we go here is Stanley and his set all complete uh, and this was another Halloween set that I absolutely loved I was so pleased with how it turned out so check out the description box for all the product details of 
for all the details of the products I used and any links. If you like Stanley Spider, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you click subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye! Mwah!